All right, travels to Preston. And before I even get into it, maybe you know what to do. Hit the pause button, like, subscribe, and leave a comment, all right, at the end of the video. So right now, I'm, I'm down here in the, uh, the art district in uh, LA, in downtown LA, as you can see. So uh, it's supposed to be a bunch of murals and stuff. So coming in, I did see the Kobe mural. So I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going, per se. Just, I just, I'm just gonna walk down the streets and see what I see. I did see the Kobe mural, and I definitely want to take a picture of that. Oh, this is awesome. So, man, it's always amazes me how people just, you know, can do this. So as you can see, I'm kind of in the middle of the street. So like I would highly recommend, you know, if you got somebody to come with you, you know, <laughs> there's some people out here. I'm not too concerned because it's still daylight and I'm a big guy. But, uh, you know, nobody's above getting hurt. So don't ever think you're too tough or too proud to turn down a situation or walk a different way. I'm not sure how big this area is, but this is pretty good for me. I mean, I don't need to deep dive into this area too much because you see, it doesn't look too safe. And it, it is starting to get dark out here. So, you know, maybe if it was a couple of hours earlier, I would feel a little bit more comfortable. But I do not. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really nice. Nice wild colors. So like I said, I don't know how far the street art goes, whatever, but, and I was, cause LA Live is where I want to go next. So this is not that far, but uh, pretty much they were saying um, he's like, don't do it because Skid Row is not that far. I got to have to walk through Skid Row and he highly uh, not recommended and I wouldn't do it anyway. That's where a lot of vagrants and homeless and drug addicts, um, I guess that's where they hang out, live or whatever. So I definitely wouldn't recommend. I'm gonna walk a little bit this way, but this is what I really, this is what really caught my eye. Um, you know, I'm a big Kobe fan. And I think that's super dope how they put that mural up. Him and his daughter that passed away last year. Got my man Bruce. You know, I feel like some old Wu-Tang type stuff over there, which is pretty awesome. I love Kung Fu movies and things of that nature. Just really wish there was on, you know, the gate. Got my man Nipsey. Really like this artwork. I'm not gonna go past this building, to be honest with you. I'm not feeling the, the vibe. Um, but, like I said, I'm okay, because there's still kind of daylight. I love street art. When I go to another country, I always look for street art. Um, I think it's a cool um, cool way to express yourself, especially for a person like myself, who's uh, into tattoos and self-expression and things of that nature. So I'm definitely heavily influenced by that type of vibe. Um, and I'm like, like I say, I have kids that love to uh, draw and things of that nature. So, you know, me taking videos of this, taking pictures, just to show them, like, I'm not telling them to tag walls or anything like that. Uh, but like I said, this is an art district, so obviously the street, uh, the city doesn't mind. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna remind you: like, subscribe, leave a comment, recommend, 
Uh, this is Travels of Preston in the good old art district. All right, stay tuned. Up in Adam. So right now, I left the hotel. I'm actually on uh, Vine Street, walking, making my way to Hollywood Boulevard. As you can see, um, got the stars underneath me. So I was gonna try to, um, I'm sorry, no, that was Hollywood Boulevard. I'm on Vine, so that's the intersection of uh, Hollywood and Vine right here. And then I'm making my way to Capitol Records, which is, which street is that? I think it's Sunset Boulevard, or one of these streets is Sunset or Santa Monica Boulevard. But anyway, like I said, got the stars. Um, it's too many damn stars to really try to, you know, pinpoint uh, certain people. I was gonna try to do that, but hell with all that. Uh, it's over 2,000 stars. I think it's like 2,600 stars. And they add like two a month. So there's no way for me to, you know, I ain't about to check them all down. So, uh, you know, by all means, when you guys get here, you probably should do that. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Take your time. So that's Capitol Records. Famous, it always gets blown up in movies. So you can see people just hanging out. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, why? Right. Um, since I've been here, I didn't seen a lot of wild things. Try not to pass judgment on people, cause you know, you never, uh, you never know what somebody's going through. And a lot of these uh, individuals are on. Uh, or on, uh, you know, drugs or such not. I'm sorry, guys, this popped my eye. It's like a little memorial or something. So as I'm talking to you, I'm kind of looking down to see if I recognize anybody, like Roy Rogers, Ariel Carey Underwood. Um, I guess as I keep going, I'll see somebody. All right, so just to show you what's going on on um, Hollywood. Looks a little better at nighttime. Everything's kind of, um, you know, lit. Falafels. Hollywood ice cream. Souvenir shops. Oh, busy on heads. Grace Kelly. There's like so many uh, names on here. And this is like, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. Because obviously you can put them in order or. Oh, CNN. I'm still walking down Hollywood Boulevard. I should, get should be almost there. Because it's yeah, I'm not too sure. Jeez. So this is what you kind of see up and down all the places of, uh, oh, Jimi Hendrix. Sorry guys, gotta take a picture of that. Love me some Jimmy. All right, got Jimmy. Um, Jerry Lee Lewis, huh? Word. 
So yeah, like you said, man, you can see anything up and down Hollywood Boulevard, just anywhere, period. So. Uh, I would, I would love to see what Hollywood looked like when it was Hollywood, I guess. You know, many moons ago. So, um, yeah. Like, normally I would give money to a homeless, you know, as I see fit or whatever, but I really did not know it was gonna be this many um, homeless people and uh in la or whatever and it's like you go to the west side of um of la it just look like oh shangri-la it's, it's craziness so yeah oh not king cole was a merry old soul um so i'm thinking i should be getting close to where i'm supposed to be at we got scientology so for what i was told it's like two or three of them um I actually seen the main one where uh, Tom Cruise and them go. So, I mean, it's real nice over there. I hear they can be a little uh, aggressive in their uh, approaching and, uh, you know, methods or whatever. So, there you go, Museum of uh, Illusions. That's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I actually have an appointment. So make sure you uh, get an appointment, guys, when you come out here. Um, the Wax Museum. Don't really, oh, look at the Joker. <laughs> so like I said, you're liable to see anything and everybody out here. I'm actually waiting on uh, my friend Anna. She's supposed to be showing up and she's going to tour the Museum of Illusion. Like I said, uh, is right here so it's on the corner of Mc mccadden place and hollywood uh, boulevard so i'm not too sure if the, i didn't see the joker move i'm not too sure if he had that outfit on as far as them shoes um <laughs> like i said i didn't see some wild stuff out here so as you can see you can see him the museum. So like I said, I'm probably not gonna record when I go in there, but I definitely um, will say something on the blog. And I also wanna remind you guys uh, to make sure you pause right now, hit the like button and subscribe and um, leave a comment, all right? And also make sure you recommend to somebody. Like I said, this is the only way we'll be able to grow. Um, also, uh, I want to take this time out to thank you, uh, everyone for supporting me. Uh, I know it's only been a couple of months and things of that nature, but hey, like the grind don't stop, as you can see. All right, guys, just got done with the Word of Illusion. It's pretty dope. Can't wait to show you guys some of the pictures. Make sure you go to my Instagram, uh, Travels of Preston on YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest. Uh, just anything and all social media is Travels of Preston. Also, I have another page, which is Travels in My Lifetime, all right? So it's Travels underscore in underscore my underscore um, lifetime underscore, okay? And it'll be posted all, all across social media. And then obviously the vlog, um, I didn't get you to vlog it because there's definitely no video in there. It was all pictures. So I definitely want to make sure that's known, but I will blog about it on my travelsandlife.com, all right? So right now, I'm heading to the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Let me show y'all what's going on. So it's kind of loud. Hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to get a lapel mic so I could be a little bit more of uh, directional with my uh, voice. So I apologize for that, but uh, it's kind of quiet a little bit now. The traffic has died down just a little bit, but you can see somebody behind me trying to make videos. Uh, let me know how you guys think he's doing. Ooh, Harley Davidson. So you guys already know I got to stop at the Harley Davidson store on the way back. Thank <laughs> you. 
So you see more stars. Oh, Vince McMahon. Oh, my man. Yeah. <laughs> So it looked like the spot to be. Wow. He's killing it. Come on, come on. There it is. What's up, brother? Y'all see all these nuts behind me? That's these out here making local legends out here. He is really killing it. I guess you have to make money any way possible around here. That's funny. <laughs> Hollywood is off the chain. Oh, he got a velvet wave cap. Special. So this is the Dolby Theater. Wow. Looks real nice. Oh, okay. Ah. Gone with the wind, 1939. So, Dolby Theater is like a mall? Shopping center type deal? Okay. Ooh, Platoon, great movie. Forrest Gump, Braveheart, yes. Ooh, American Beauty, I love that. What we got on this, Rain Man, Driving Miss Daisy, Dancing with Royal Sea. Now we're getting into the movies that I know. <laughs> Sharon Flip's List. So this is the Chinese theater. The Mortal Kombat just came out today, guys. And I actually watched it today. Horrible movie. Horrible. The first 10 minutes of the movie is the best. So yeah, Chinese theater. All right, so yeah, um, the Chinese theater right next to the Dolby Theater, all on Hollywood Boulevard. So when you pick your hotel, Make sure, um, you know, you pick it right so you can get, like I said, I'm not that far from the W. Actually, I probably could see the W sign way down the street. Uh, like I said, it's about a 20 minute walk from the W. Like I said, but the Roosevelt Hotel is right here. That's something I was going to stay. It's a four star hotel, um, pretty decent or whatever. So um, like I said, I would also want to say, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment and re recommend. And I'm gonna see what else I can get into guys.